Hello guys, welcome back. This is Andrea and today with another flex video. In the previous video I have discussed about rigid bodies and I have showed how it's possible to create with rigid bodies the breeze when the bullet hits the wall. Instead in this video I want to show and I want to explain how it's possible to create many many uh, bodies with different characteristics using soft bodies. And also uh, I will explain how you can you create many different bodies by explaining you what a soft body is and also what clusters are and so on. But now let's start. Oh, by the way, one thing really important uh, is that if you want to understand how Flex works and also you want to learn how to use the physics engine of the future, you have to see this video until the end because uh, then you will have all the necessary ability to create soft bodies from the scratch. So let's start. I have already created uh, this scene. I have slightly modified uh, this robot and instead of shoot uh, bullet like the first time, now it shoot balls. These balls are uh, flex soft bodies and as you can see it uh, go through the wall and uh, and bounce off. In fact, you can see that the ball here, spherical ball. And um, now the question is, what if I would like to create uh, something a bit different? Uh, for example, I want to create a paintball game where the ball hit the wall and instead of bouncing off, it remains stick on the wall and create kind of uh, paint on the wall itself. Let's see. I have already created the flex bullet to sphere that have this charac the characteristics that we need to paint the wall. I have to go here and change the, the ball that uh, the player shot. And now, as you can see, the the behavior of this ball is completely different and as I told you uh, this ball is not more spherical but it's flat on the wall and also acts like a pint. Now what I did to, to change this behavior completely I didn't a uh, really much difficult things I only changed uh, the internal physical characteristics in rigid bodies, uh, we have the, some, uh, some possibility. We can change the shape and we can also change the shape in flex. We can change the friction and uh, it change the behavior of our physics body. We can change the bouncing F and uh, we can add forces and uh, things like that. But the thing that uh, the object in bullet stay, is rigid and stay as is makes things a lot more easy. So instead in flex we have the particle body model that is the description of our soft body. In fact in the particle body model there is stored all particle position and all particle connection that create the topology of the shape. In fact the difference between this shape this physics, uh, this uh, soft physics body, uh, and this one is basically the topology and the connection of the particles, and nothing more. In fact, if you think uh, in a in a biological way, we can say, but it's not biological. Just to explain you in short what it does uh, is imagine that you have proteins and proteins. Uh, the, and the physical characteristics of these proteins depends on the structure of each atom uh, inside the molecules and so on. Uh, so the idea is uh, similar to flex. In fact, uh, we can say that this ball uh, has a specific topology that allow me that when it shoots to the wall, it stay on the wall and it scratch completely on the wall. R rather, the, this flex bullet has a topology that when shoots to the wall it reacts to the wall and get off 
and bounce again and return spherical as you can see now the, to create a different topology in flex we have a really handy uh, algorithm and this algorithm do uh, a lot of calculation for us and this algorithm can be controlled by these parameters for the soft bodies in the previous video you saw that i was changing uh, the parameters for the rigid bodies that were fewer and then you will understand why instead in soft bodies you have more uh, variables that uh, in this moment doesn't tell you nothing but in a moment will tell you a lot the first important thing that i have to say regarding this algorithm is that we have a mesh when we instance a mesh uh, the algorithm take this mesh and fill this mesh with particles in fact one of the first uh, parameters of our soft particle body is radi the radius because we are telling the radius of each particle and of course as you can understand depending of the radius this algorithm will calculate how much particles put inside this mesh in fact, if you have a radius of these sides, it fills with this number of shape or of particles, but if you have bigger particles, it will fill with less particles. And this is the first, the first parameter. Now, to understand the second parameter, I have to talk about clusters that, despite the world, could be uh, it's really easy to understand and I will explain in a short. Do you remember the rigid bodies? The rigid bodies in, in flex has the characteristics that are completely stiff, completely rigid and they can't be deformed even if they are made by particles like this. And here uh, enter in game the clusters. In fact, the clusters is a constraint, uh, we can say a rigid constraint, that uh, constraint all the particles to stay stiff together and doesn't move. They move anyway because the physics engine is not perfect, but the physics engine will try to maintain this stiffness. So imagine that we have uh, a structure that all the particles there in that position. Also in flex we don't have only clusters to constrain the particles. In fact we have another uh, way to constrain the particles that are the springs. The springs as the word spring says is a spring that allows the particles to move around this constraint. In fact creating a topology like this one allow me to create a mesh that can uh, that can bend and also a mesh that can deform so the difference with springs and clusters uh, are huge despite what you can think in this in this moment uh, soft bodies is not made by only springs instead it is made by many rigid bodies glued together by springs let me explain. The algorithm will fill uh, this mesh with particles like this. And once the mesh is filled with particles, what happens is that the algorithm split this mesh in sub portion, in subgroups, and for each group it creates the rigid bodies in this way. And as you can just imagine, the, in this moment all these rigid bodies can stay, can go around because they are free to move. And uh, so the algorithm what, uh, what does more is to add the springs between uh, these near particles. And now you can see that this shape now is soft because it has some rigid parts and also has some moving parts but thanks to the springs it is possible to return back to its original uh, shape since it's way very difficult to control the total com characteristics uh, of the physics uh, body uh, in this way 
who created the algorithm has the good idea of creating the global clusters. The global clusters is just a cluster, a normal cluster, with the difference that instead to create the topology in a little quad, it attached the, the outermost uh, particles in the same uh, in the same cluster. In this way, by controlling the stiffness uh, of this uh, global cluster, now it's possible to constrain the bending in a way uh, a bit better. The global stiffness controls the stiffness of this green cluster, the global cluster. In, in fact, you can see that the flex bullet, that is the ball that uh, that bounces off the wall has a global stiffness of 1. Instead, the flex bullet 2 has a global stiffness of 0 because it doesn't have a global rigidity uh, and in fact it remains uh, glued on the wall. Because this means, with you can imagine this topology, with, sti with global stiffness 1 we have these green big clusters that try to maintain everything together. Instead, with, uh, with stiffness zero, you doesn't have these green clusters and now the shape is able to shoot to hit the wall and remain stiff. Another setting is internal sample. The internal sample is really, really easy to understand. Imagine that you have a shape a mesh like this one. When internal sample is on, the algorithm will feel, will feel the mesh in this way by putting the particles inside in this way. Rather, when, like this case, internal sample is off, the algorithm, instead to put the particles internally, it put particles only around the shape. Of course, you can see the, the soft bodies can bend a lot more than particle spacing, like the radius, change the, the amount of particles that we have to put inside. For example, with um, a particle spacing of zero, the particles, the algorithm will put the particles in this way. Instead, with a radius of 1, it will put particles with uh, a spacing of 1 in this way. The sampling is again the same. If the sampling is 1, it will put the particles in a normal way. If the sampling is 2, for example, it will put the double of particles. Now, we have the cluster spacing, the cluster radius and the cluster stiffness. Uh, do you remember, of course, that uh, I already explained the clusters? And these three settings uh, give the characteristics of these sub-clusters. In fact, uh, as you can already imagine, cluster spacing and cluster radius uh, are responsible uh, for the sub-clustering characteristics. We have a cluster radius of 1, for example. It takes this uh, this particle uh, as pivot and cast a circle all around all the particles inside uh, this circle inside this sphere will be part of these clusters so the cluster created will be this one instead if our radius is of two and the cluster created will be this one and it's now easy to understand that uh, this change completely the behavior of the shape because in this way this is semi-rigid and uh, cluster stiffness uh, like before uh, give the stiffness of these internal clusters in fact you can see that in this ball that is the ball that when it the wall it uh, paint the wall we have cluster stiffness to zero and here, that is the ball that when it the wall it bounces off, we have a cluster stiffness of 0.2. Then we have link radius, link stiffness that can control uh, the stiffness of the springs that connect all the clusters. So this blue, this blue one, the link radius cast a circle again, a sphere, and inside this sphere it will. Uh, 
take all the, all the particles that, uh, that should be uh, linked together and the stiffness of this spring are 0.1 then we have plastic threshold and also plastic grip to explain uh, this uh, in an easy way uh, we, can, we can say that we have this mesh and this mesh uh, when it's the wall the particles inside this shape uh, move in this way the clusters get deformed and what plastic threshold does is that the physics engine try to remember this deformation and maintain this deformation forever change the, the physics the physical characteristics uh, of the soft body is necessary is mandatory uh, change the topology of how this shape is created one thing really really important to say also this algorithm works in this way and is an handy algorithm that can that allow to create on the fly shapes but uh, nothing stop you for example to create your own algorithm that creates your own uh, shape and uh, and thus model and that model uh, the shape uh, as you want for example uh, could happen that you want to create a thread and if we connect these particles by only springs in this way the part these particles since the the springs characteristics will bend really a lot because it doesn't have much power but what happens if we we add another spring that connect this particle with these particles and again these particles with these particles now you can see that there is another spring that opposite to the bending a lot more and then again what happens if I add another spring between this one and this one and this one and this one as you can see now I have a structure of springs that uh, make this thread bend a lot less I am saying this because you have to understand that flex doesn't stop you to only this algorithm to create physics uh, physical body but flex give the possibility to create an infinite amount of topology uh, that reacts in a way that you cannot imagine so the stop of flex is your imagination i would like to hear the um, what you think about flex about this video in the comments below and also i want to ask you what you want to see in the next videos if you want that i talk about water on instead if you want that I talk about smoke that's it thank you for everything see you on next video bye